Hello, friends sports here. Today's time for a new FIFA 21 tutorial with the main and new feature of uh, 21, which is the creative runs. We can dictate exactly how you want your players to run in the game. And there are three different ways to do this. I will teach you all three and how to implement this, of course, uh, in your gameplay. Let's get started. Before learning creative runs, you must understand the concept of uh, the triggers here, how to make players run and come short. So you just uh, press down L1 and point towards the player to make them here run forward you see like we just we can just spam L1 and they can run forward and also you can press R1 to make them come short so that's the two different buttons that you can use here in the game come short so just press once because if you press twice the bridge all right come short you see that he'll raise his hands but now here comes the creative runs so after you press one of the triggers, L1 or R1, you flick the right stick. And that would be the direction that they will run after you press the down the trigger. So look at this now, L1, and then flick the right stick, and you can see that he will change his motion. And you can go anywhere, you can go even backwards like this. Uh, but after you flicked, you cannot change direction, so that it will be locked on, go again, and we can change here even after a while. So just uh, flick right stick after making this trigger with L1. And the same if you want them to come short, you can also change how they will run after you activated that input. And here comes the second part, which is a bit more tricky. But I think that this can uh, become very useful as well. And that is to use the player lock. Uh, we have to press down both sticks at the same time to activate this. And you see this uh, marker pop up uh, over the head looking like something from The Sims maybe. And if you don't like this setting you can just turn it off here at the player lock. Just go off if you don't like this mechanic. But this can be something useful. You see that uh, now we have this activated and from here you just have to use our right stick again to switch to a player that we want to pass to. And when we do so the AI will take over for the ball holder and from here we can call a pass here and we can just move how we want how we want we can go X pass or we can go uh, cross pass or through balls so we have uh, three different options when the AI has the ball again we go with both triggers L3 R3 looking like this and from here we can switch you can see and we can keep switching until we have the player that we want and now we are free to roam while the AI takes control of the ball and then we can just call for a pass here, this time we went with uh, the through ball triangle. But you don't have to switch to a player while in player lock. If you make a pass instead, after activating player lock, you will instead be in free roam mode with the player that made the pass. So, there are two ways to use this function. Either to switch to a player with the right stick, or make a custom run with the ball holder. But this takes of course a long time to master, and there is actually a third way to use this, which is a bit easier. That is that after you make a pass as well, you can go with the right stick as well to make him uh, make some kind of run after this pass. So just like this, he makes a pass and then we can uh, trigger him as well. Maybe we want to go here backwards to give some more options like they do in uh, real life. You see, so you can uh, use this in three different ways with the triggers, uh, with the play lock and also after you made a pass, just like this. And this of course it takes a long time to master and it's hard to implement online against a tough opponent. Of course it is easy against the AI beginner. But you can go here to skill games and practice. First you have to finish all these basic exercises. So you have to finish these ones and then you can unlock the rest. And this one is really good. Practice scenarios and then you go to here. This one uh, that is called the practice scenarios moderate. The third one which is a great way to practice these creative runs. Just like this, yes, and we can see this blue arrow also, that is a setting, you need to have the trainer on at settings. Alright, look at this now, we go player lock, and then we want to make a different run. AI has a ball, and go for the through ball, maybe not the best the robot, but uh, you see this uh, concept, a great way here to practice, and learn to do this quickly. 
All right, now we're gonna see how we can use this in the game, of course. And there is one usage error which I think is gonna be very useful, and that is to make uh, and activate the wing that sometimes can get a bit isolated. And uh, let's see now, we have uh, this left mid not really active, and we can go like this, and then go inside, go inside, and you see that here, how we can create some um, uh, different options here going forward. This of course takes a lot of time to master and learn without having to think that much because of course that will occupy too much of your uh, brain power. And now we're gonna try out the play lock and you see how we can be quick with these three steps. We go like this, one, two, and now we switch too much. We can switch back here to Maris. and then we can ask for the pass again like this and we can create some uh, new runs here. One thing that you must think about is that when you do this uh, play lock and switch to AI, uh, the ball holder will be very vulnerable. So if you go like this and just let the AI have the ball, then you're most likely going to lose the ball quickly. Even though the AI does it quite well here, you see that uh, we have to make this pass as quickly as possible. And one thing that you could do is that you could activate here this uh, play lock and then just the dribble until you have some space and some time uh, with the ball. Then you can make this uh, rise stick switch to activate to the AI. So we go like this, and then we switch when we have time on the ball. And also if you're about to lose the ball uh, with AI during a play lock, you can just uh, press down uh, both sticks again to take uh, control of the ball again, just like this. So both sticks to activate and then both sticks to deactivate. Play lock is fantastic to use on the wing. To either find a cutback pass to a striker, or to find a striker in the perfect spot for that cross. Just activate play lock while the ball is on the wing, right stick switch to a striker, find yourself in open area and call for a cross. This works like a charm and might develop into FIFA 21 meta. So yes, a very nice uh, feature but it might be a bit overwhelming sometimes and hard to implement in tight games where you have to focus on your dribbling instead. Maybe you don't have so much time on the ball and the AI in FIFA 21 still makes some great runs without you doing anything. And very often it's just enough to press the triggers L1 and R1. But let's see, it's still too early to speak about this. We might have several metas evolving around this concept. One thing is for sure though, options are unlimited. Alright guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you did so, make sure to drop a like. I'm working on some more as we speak. I'm going to try to drop them as soon as possible. That's it for today again. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, you know, until next time, take care.